Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny. Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, I'm super excited. I'm going to be doing the April edition of me trying new food and drink products in uh, the UK. So I'm just basically gonna be taste testing a bunch of products which have newly launched into UK supermarkets. I've got some great things that I'm gonna be trying today. We've got drinks, we've got frozen food, we have sweet treats, we have snacks, we have, did I say drinks? We have drinks, if I didn't say drink, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna not chat on for too long. So if you like this video, keep watching. Well, <laughs> you don't know if you like it yet, but if it sounds like the kind of video that would interest you, please keep watching. If you do like it after you've watched it, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't already subscribe to my channel, go and hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So before I get into this, just wanted to mention that um, in case you didn't see my last video, my March one, and if you didn't, I'll go and link it down below, go and have a look and see if there are any products that you wanna try. My um, information source for this video is The Grocer. The Grocer is the biggest um, food and drink trade magazine, but they have a great Instagram page where they post about new product launches all the time. So that's where I'm sort of getting my info from um, and, and what I'm using to decide what products I'm gonna try. Um, I'll link their Instagram down below. Low. So the first product I'm gonna try it and I'm really really excited. I'm gonna say that about everything. We have the Recordalic pink lemon flavor. I wanted to do this in my last one but I couldn't find it and I found it this time so I'm really excited to give it a try. This just sounds like perfect summer vibes drink like oh well we'll see when I try it but so this is pink recordalig uh pink lemon in case you don't anyone doesn't know recordalig is like a slightly upmarket um cider brand so it's pear cider blended with lemons and raspberries made from pure swedish spring water gluten-free vegan and it's four percent alcohol so i'm just gonna have this how i would normally have it so i've got um just gonna open it <sighs> what a fail and i've got I've just got a glass with a little bit of ice. This has been chilling in the fridge, so I don't need too much ice. I am so thirsty. I'm excited. So it's got like a slight pink tinge to it, but very, very subtle. Let's see what this tastes like. Oh my God. That is so refreshing. That's dangerous because that doesn't taste like alcohol at all. I'm not the biggest cider fan, like as in, I love fruity ciders. I love like old malt, old moot. I love record different recorded flavors. I like like flavored Koppenbergs. But this, like honestly, doesn't taste like cider at all. It's delicious. It's really refreshing. It's going to be perfect in the summer. Um, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Like it's got a nice subtle zestiness of lemon and then the raspberries just give it like a real pop of sweetness i love that if you like sweet things um and you like cider but kind of like cider <laughs> just want a refreshing alcoholic drink for the summertime this is going to be your friend i'd highly recommend i give that a five i got the recorded look from morrison's but you can also get it from ocado and it was £1.50, which I thought was very reasonable. Next up, we have another drink. This time we have a squash, and I'm really ex I'm not, I'm not gonna say that every time. I'm not gonna say I'm really excited to try it. <laughs> but I am excited. It's the Capri Sun uh, multivitamin squash with real fr fruit juice. So this is the orange flavor, and it also comes in apple and blackcurrant. I got this from Asda, and it costs £1.99. My bottle's leaking, which is a bit of a concern, but it's fine. It actually didn't leak before, so I'm gonna pretend that that happened after I bought it. Um, but it's no added sugar. I believe this is the first time that um, Capri Sun has been in squash format. So I'm really intrigued to see what this is gonna taste like. It's made with real fruit juice and it's got vitamins C, B3, B6, B1 and biotin. So um, I've just got myself a glass with water and some ice down here and I'm gonna put my squash in as to how strong I like it. Um, question, do you put your squash in then your water or your water in then your squash? Like obviously for the purpose of this video, I wanted to have the glass of water ready and show you the dilution process. But in general, I'm a water first kind of girl, which I think some people may find controversial, but I'm intrigued to know what you are. 
So let's just get some of this in. I think we need a bit more though. That's looking a little bit pale. Cheers. Mmm. That's good. I was half expecting it to taste like your regular sort of orange squash, but it really doesn't. It tastes like Capri Sun. Obviously not as strong as like actual Capri Sun, although maybe if I added a bit more and made the drink a bit stronger, it would. Um, but the, ta the Capri Sun taste is definitely there, so I think that's really great. Um, if, if I guess it probably works out cheaper buying like a big thing of squash and like making up Capri Suns than it does to buy the little cartons. Um, so yeah, if you like Capri Sun and you like squashes, I'd really recommend that. Um, I'll give that a three and a half. Next up, we're moving over to the cereal aisle and I have got... So these are Weetabix chocolate melts. So these are white chocolate, soft scented, crunchy bites. Oh, they look amazing. They also do these in milk chocolate. And I got these from Tesco and you can also get them from Sainsbury's and they cost, oh, you can also get them from Ocado as well. Uh, they cost 2 dollars and you've got 360 gram uh, box here. So, oh, they're quite big. So this is what they look like. Um, I'm gonna try one just like this. It's got that classic Weetabix coating and then I've got some milks down there so I can try them how you normally would. Mm, that first bite, a bit disappointing. Like, not really much of a white chocolate filling in there. Mm-mm. I'm really disappointed with the white chocolate. Definitely looks a lot more filled with white chocolate on the box. I mean, it's nice, it's sweet. Got my little bowl down here. Get some in there and eat it as if I was eating cereal. Okay. It is good. Even though those ones that I bit that didn't look like there was a lot of white chocolate. The white chocolate does come through. I think the milk brings it out more than when you eat them on their own. How oh, nice. It's good cereal. Yeah, I'm a fan. I think that's good. 127 calories for the serving. I don't think is bad at all for something that has chocolate in. Maybe that's why they wanted to keep the chocolate a little bit down. But yeah, the flavour comes through. Definitely, they don't look like that. But... Um, I think they're nice. I'll give that, I'll give that a three star. I think it's a nice cereal, but definitely doesn't beat something like Cocoa Pops. We've now got a new launch from Jacob's Mini Cheddars. And that's these Wee Cheddars. This is part of a um, range of three products that are all inspired by the different regions of the UK. So I've picked up the Wee Cheddars, which, um, uh, uh you know ba like based in scotland <laughs> based in scotland um meant to be taking inspiration from scotland and their strathton blue cheese um they also come in plowman's cheshire cheese which is like the england english version and then the welsh one which is called back cheddar's back back don't know how to say it um sorry for anyone from wales um they are dragon's breath chili cheddar um, but I thought I would get these ones because I thought they would like the I'd be I'm intrigued to see how the blue cheese flavor comes through So it's a six pack. It's one pound 79. I picked these up in Tesco, but I think they're available pretty much anywhere um, And yeah, let's give it a try. So no surprises the little wee cheddars bag I love the logo update Okay, yeah I'm it smells like mini cheddars, but I'm getting that, I am getting that slight blue cheese vibe. Oh my God. How have they done that? That tastes, that literally, to me, that literally tastes like Saint Agur blue cheese. I know it's like Straff Strathton blue cheese inspired by the Highland Fine Cheese Company. That is so good. I'm really impressed with that. Honestly, the blue cheese is so strong. It's really coming through. I didn't expect it to be so strong. If you like blue cheese, you will love this. I'm just really impressed with how much it tastes like blue cheese. Like, 
Yes, well done, Jacobs. Friggin' love that, because I love blue cheese. But yeah, if, if I was scoring it to how close the flavour was to what it says, that would be like five, five plus. Like that, that's so weird, it's so delicious. Um, but yeah, I actually really love the flavour. I'm gonna give it a four and a half. Mum's come on camera because she just had a try of some of my <laughs> leftover uh, wee cheddars and she wanted to tell her, tell you all what she thought. I just won't let me eat another packet because I'm going out for dinner and it'll ruin my dinner, but I've got to tell you, these are just unreal. They are this so is, delicious. This is, by the way, this is Mini Cheddar's number one fan. <laughs> this, I mean, I love their Branston Pickle ones. I didn't think anything could beat that, but these, they just taste like you're eating a piece of blue cheese on a biscuit. You get that lovely sort of aroma going around your mouth that you get when you eat blue cheese and biscuits. And I just wanted to say, to verify, you have to go and buy these. They are delicious buy the six pack you'll eat the whole lot you won't be able to not to they're <laughs> absolutely delicious a thumbs up to jacobs five out of five for you ten out of five <laughs> <laughs> next up i've got this walls tangy peri peri chicken slice which smells delicious so it's tender chicken breast pieces sweet corn and peppers in a peri peri marinade in our extra tasty pastry you can eat this hot or cold I have heated it up. I just had to open the end and put it in the microwave for two minutes. It feels roasting, so I'm scared to try it. So <laughs> let it cool down. I'll chat for a bit. I will tell you the details. So you get one slice in here. It's 180 grams. It's quite a beast. Um, and it costs £1.50. I got it from Asda. They also do another, this is like adding to their existing slices range. And they also have launched nacho chili cheese. And I really wanted to try that one, but they didn't have it. So I've gone for the peri peri chicken instead kind of see what it looks like it's very very floppy i mean i guess that's kind of normal for a slice but it's kind of falling apart oh my god can you see the heat coming off it it's bloody roasting r.i.p my tongue at first bite was basically all pastry but i did get the peri peri flavor coming through which is quite nice it says leave for a minute before eating <clears throat> it's definitely been more than a minute and it's still roasting not totally sold that there's like adequate adequate filling i'd say i'm about a third down i haven't had a piece of chicken yet i'm really enjoying like the chewiness of the pastry it's a it's not a flaky pastry it's a chewy pastry but it's nice and the flavor is good i just haven't had really had anything except pastry and sauce it's all like congregated to the bottom I've almost eaten this whole thing just for the dedication of getting to the filling. Let's have one more big bite over here and then I can give a proper review. Okay, I like it. I do think I know the I know the kind of filling dragged to the bottom, but I I do think it could have done with some more filling. Like what's in the bottom feels right. Um, it could have done with more up. Love the pastry. Um, really like the peri peri flavour. I think it's a nice slice. Like if you like chewy pastry rather than it being crunchy and you're never going to get crunchy heating up in the microwave, then you'll enjoy this. That makes a good little snack or a good addition to a lunch or something. Um, like there is sweet corn in there, not much chicken pieces and not much pepper, but it's good flavour. I just think the filling, we need more filling in there, please, walls. But otherwise, nice I'll give that, I'll give it a three. I'd eat it again. So next up we have um, something from Richmond. So this is their new high in protein, 16 meat free, no beef meatballs. Um, so these are just essentially, as they say on the tin, they're just meat free meatballs. So they've also launched a veggie mince alongside of these. I got them from Asda and you can also get them from Sainsbury's. You get 16 meatballs in a pack and the pack cost me three pounds. So I have, you can either oven cook them or fry them. If you're gonna fry them, it's better to like fry them and then cook them in a pasta sauce and have them with pasta sauce. So I've just oven cooked them. Um, just, it's more so to get the flavor to see how are like um, normal meatballs, they are, well, and meaty meatballs are but this is what they look like. So, 
Let's give it a go. They smell quite nice. They don't smell like... I quite like that. I don't think it tastes like beef, but it's got like, it's gone really crunchy and got like a nice like, yeah, crisp exterior. And then inside it's like nice and juicy and succulent. There's something tasty and moorish about them. I love meat and meatballs, like, I love the meatballs. <laughs> but I'd have no issues having like my spaghetti with my tomato sauce and swapping those in. They've got that like saltiness. And yeah, like I said, that crispy exterior and meaty interior. But yeah, I really, I, nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, I think that's really good. Um, I'd give that a three and a half. Oh, I actually love these videos because I'm getting to eat all this delicious food. But I've now got, I love these Chicago Town pizzas. The pepperoni ones are my vibe. At uni in first year, we used to go and buy um, the pepperoni ones with microchips. Oh, and it was like, just the best dinner. Um, it makes me sound really sad. But we've got, Chicago Town have launched um, a light version of their uh, Cheese Feast deep dish pizza. Uh, so this is 30% less fat. I'm intrigued to see if it's any less calories than the normal. So this one is 375. So this is a two cheese feast. So this has two cheeses instead of four cheeses and maybe that's why it's gonna be better for you as well. So these, yeah, these are 375, the normal ones are 417. So this is lower in the calories as well, maybe because that's um, four pizza, uh, four ch two, oh God, two cheese instead of four cheese. So these are microwavable. Oh wait, are they? Yeah, these are microwavable. Um, but I cooked it in the oven for the purpose of this video. So I've just taken it out of the oven. I've overcooked it a little bit, but um, I do like things generally a little bit more overcooked than undercooked. So there we go. Just got myself a little slice here. So it just looks like your regular Chicago town pizza. Face is nice and crisp. Obviously it depends if you put it in the microwave or not, but to be honest, even in the microwave, these are delicious. I think it's their tomato sauce makes them so good. Oh, it's baking. Immediate thoughts, because I guess when you try them like this, you're extremely critical. I was about to say, immediate thoughts is that it's much more tomatoey than it is cheesy, but that's, I kind of get that vibe with these anyway but I just had a bite that was really cheesy. I just love pizza. To me, there's no difference between this and like the regular cheese one. Perhaps if I was comparing them side by side, I'd be able to tell a difference, but to me, like this doesn't necessarily taste like something that's low fat or lower calories or lower whatever. Yeah, I love it. I love the Chicago Town pizzas though. It's their tomato sauce, it's so good. So it comes in a pack or two, like regular. It's £2.39 and I got this from Tesco. I think it's only in Tesco at the moment. I give that a four. If you want like a quick dinner, I would definitely recommend you get this. So next up, I've got myself a little dinner, which is me living my like childhood frozen food dinner fantasies because I love eating food like this. Um, so I have got here a plate of corn dinosaurs and oven baked hula hoops. I'll tell you more. I'm gonna start with the hula hoops because it's literally taken every fiber in my being not to take one of these and pop it in my mouth. When I took them out of the oven, I really wanted to do it, but I was like, no, I need to get the first reaction on camera. So, I didn't see these on the grocer, but I saw them when I was in Iceland. I walked past the freezer to this bag and I was like, what the heck is that? And they're hula hoops, original salted flavoured potato rings. They're exclusive to Iceland. And they're essentially, they're just hula hoops that you put in the oven. Like they're potato, they're potato rings that you put in the oven. So that, yeah, they, so they come in the original and the bar, the barbecue beef flavour, which I love, but I didn't see the barbecue beef. And they also had space raiders, two flavours of space raiders, same thing. So. 
Wow, so this is what they look like. Like a, your regular old hula hoop. Mmm. I was expecting them to have like a more potatoey, fluffier exterior. But they're literally like baked hula hoops. A bit thicker. They need more salt. I'd add more salt to them. They're so interesting. It's almost as if it's like a bake yourself at home. Because I was really expecting it to be a bit more potatoey. But they're not. They're literally like hot hula hoops, like fresh out the oven, like freshly baked. Really good idea. I think that's really clever. I like that. Mm. Thumbs up for me on that one. Needs more salt. I'm going to give it a three. Because I think the barbecue beef would be like a four. And I like that so much more. But moving on to my, the accompaniment. Also from Iceland. Exclusive to ice and corn. Have bought out Rawson's. So these are basically like turkey dinosaur. Um, do I have food on my lip? These are basically turkey dinosaur copies. They're vegan. They're high in protein, high in fiber, deliciously meat free, low in saturated fat. So these are, yeah, as I've just said, you've got your classic shapes. There's your T Rex, and I'm not going to do the other two and pretend I know what the dinosaurs are called. Iceland, six in a pack for £1.50, which I didn't think was too bad. Here's what this guy looks like. I don't know about them. Okay. First I'll tell you they are no Bernard Matthews turkey dinosaurs. Let's 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 get one thing straight. But when you first bite into them, you get real likeness, like the taste and the flavour is really nice. And then as you're chewing it, it gets a bit cl claggy, is that a word? It kind of like fills your mouth with it kind of feels quite pasty. So the first bite is really good, and then as you get to chewing it more and more, it just gets a bit like, mm, not my favourite, no. Not my favourite at all. I think corn nuggets are much nicer. They are nice and they are fun. Ideal for kids who are trying to be meat-free. <laughs> or parents who have kids that they want to be meat-free. Anyway, they're nice. They're not great. I'll give them a two and a half. <laughs> yeah, she continues to eat it. No, no it's like paste. It's literally like paste in the middle. Nice and crunchy though. We're on to dessert and that means we've got the final product of the video. And oh my god, is this a cracker? We have got Mr. Kipling's new chocolate tarts. Oh, oh my god, exceedingly good cakes. That's um, So these are light pastry cases with a layer of chocolate flavoured mousse, chocolate flavour icing with chocolate flavoured sugar sprinkles. Oh! Oh my god, they look amazing. You get a pack of six, they're £1.89. I picked these up in Asda. Get one of these bad boys out and into my gob ASAP. God, the pastry's falling apart a bit in the pack. Crummies on the bed, that means. Okay, here we have it. Take it out. Oh my god, the pastry's really falling apart. Oh! Mr. Kipling, I'm not very impressed with that. The pastry is literally falling apart in my hands. It's like all over my floor. My mum's just too good. She's gonna be fuming. Right, yeah, I'm really disappointed with the pastry. All the edges have come off, but let's try it anyway. <laughs> mm. It's very delicious. Very delicious indeed. If you like chocolate, and I know most girls out there especially will, you'll like that. It's silky smooth, rich. The sprinkles, you think like, oh, I'll give or take the sprinkles, but they add like a nice little additional crunch that's just so delicious and complements the like smooth creaminess of that mousse like really, really well. I'm going to finish this. That was lovely. I said the only like disappointment on that is the pastry it literally just fell apart when i was taking it out of the foil casing 
I don't know if that's just, um, I've got a dodgy batch or that's just how they are, but yeah. I like like a flaky crumbly pastry, but you want it to like hold together. You don't want it to fall apart all over your bedroom floor. Um, not that you'd be eating these in your bedroom, but the flavor was great, nice and sweet. A great little sweet treat to have at the end, but it's not over the top sweet. So it's like not sickly, but really good. I'm gonna give that, the pastry drops it down. So I'm gonna give it a 3.5. So that's the end of the video guys i really enjoyed trying all these products and i already can't wait to do may's edition i think this is my favorite video to shoot and um, it's just fun like trying all the new things that the uk food and grocery industry has to offer so thank you very much to all the brands mentioned in this video and to the grocer for being my information source as always if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you don't subscribe to me please go and hit that subscribe button if you don't have a youtube account it's really easy to create one if you've got a gmail it's like two minutes to create a youtube account so go and create a youtube account go and subscribe to my channel and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye